Oh, are you guys ready for a wombo combo? <laughs> the dream! The dream! Totem Shaman is still here and it's nuttier than ever. So we still have a lot of totem synergy left in standard. We have the Grand Totem Eyesore. We still have the Totemic Reflection. And we also do have the Totem Goliath along with the new Draenei Totem Carver from the core set. Like we can just do some crazy things. Like we can do like a Totem Goliath and blue moat like a Totemic Reflection to get two of them. If the Totem Goliath dies and we get a ton of totems, which then buff up the Draenei Totem Carver to be huge. And even like play like a Totemic Reflection on a Trick Totem, can cause some pretty crazy games as well. We are running just a slight elemental package in here, you know, with the kindling elementals, the wailing vapors, the cage match custodian. Just because the cage match custodian does draw you a weapon and card draw is very important. We are also running the primal dungeoneer and as we know, card draw in any deck is very important. So that's why we have that small elemental package in here and wailing vapor is just too good to pass up in any shaman deck. But yeah, you'll definitely surprise your opponents with this deck. They never see it coming and you'll see it in this video some examples where you can just pop up with some crazy turns that just win games but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this deck if you do let me know by leaving a like down below that really does help me out a lot with the youtube algorithm and this deck like every other deck on this channel is created by myself and i vowed never to net deck so if you want to see the most unique creative off meta decks on youtube that you can't see anywhere else then subscribe it's free and you can always change your mind later but let's hop into the action now stay funky um so you have wailing vapor into custodian into weapon I don't think I keep both weapons, do I? No. Because then we risk top decking a custodian with no weapon in deck. I'm interested to see what they could add. Oh, same here. Same here. I mean, the sky's the limit with totems. You can do some cool stuff. Okay. So no weapon, which is good. Um... Cool. Even if they razor bore, I'm just going to go ahead and cage match so it trades evenly anyways. Okay, turn two pass, turn one pass, turn two pass. All right, looking good, looking good. Um, I wonder if they're just like a death rattle demon hunter with the slowest start or if they're like OTK demon hunter. Hmm. Okay, so it is death rattle. It is, it is. Yeah, probably just, uh, probably just whack and all here. I could maybe coin a totem goliath on four. Follow that up with a Draenei Totem Carver. Okay, see what this pulls. Okay. Mm, there's no Divine Shield. Okay, we can deal with that. Good, good, good. Phew. Face is the place. I thought about it, but I don't know. Because now they're, they're forced to spend one mana here. Right, which kind of makes their next turn a little bit more awkward. Like, they can't play, like, Renown Performer, because they can't play, like, their turn four plays, because they have to spend one mana to kill that. What if? What if they get the poison? Yeah, okay, we'll go face, we'll go face. We might be able to try racing them. If they kill it, we got Totem Carver. If they don't, we got Reflection. So it's kind of a win-win. I think we could punish too hard if we trade and it's poison. I beam? Okay. Jeez, two I beams. Holy cow. Holy cow, dude. This dude's out of his mind. I mean, at least they only have two cards in hand, which is good. Yep, still just Totem Carver here. Cool, cool, cool. Next turn, we get a lot of turn six plays here. So we can buff up uh, one of our Totems here. Even if they clear all the Totems, you can go like Mana Tide into Totemic Reflection. Huh? <gasps> oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, guys! Everybody, everybody start panicking! 
Everybody start panicking! Yeah, we'll trade. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, we have two totems in hand to get buffed! Oh, let's go! They can't kill both, right? <laughs> Everybody panic! <laughs> Yo, what's up, Nintend? <laughs> the healthy. <laughs> uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, that, that needs to die. That, that has to die. Oh gosh. Kareen could wreck us. Oh, don't get a rusher or something here. Okay. Like, as long as I don't get the, um, the other one mana cost weapon. Okay, as long as one of these lives, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! Okay, oh gosh, I'm gonna risk it here and play the Trick Totem. I'm risking it, guys. Risking it for the biscuit. Don't, don't betray me, Trick Totem. Don't do me dirty, don't do me dirty. Oh, let's go! Oh, that is a beast. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. All right, Trick Totem, thank you. Good good boy, good boy. So they have to kill the Eyesore, but they st I still have so much damage on the board. Yeah, they have to spend all their mana just removing. Like, if, if they ever play just Inquisitor, like, we just win. There's the Inquisitor, that's fine. Okay, we can kill that. We can kill that. Oh, baby! Dude, the Circus Amalgam plus Totemic Reflection? Okay, hold up. So this is always happening. This is always happening. So they can trade. I think I just go face here, because then I still get a draw card. I still buff up something here. I have more damage in hand, especially with like Fireheart. I don't see how he deals with them all. Right, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. Like it's still eight mana. So if they're spending eight mana just to rush one dude into there, like. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's the rush rush. Okay. All right. I mean, that, yeah, that was actually a pretty good way of dealing with it. Um, I think we just have lethal here pretty soon. Like next turn we have lethal. So they have eight damage. They have nine damage. So that's 17, 18 damage. I think we can just go all face here. And then just go over the top with these portals or something. Nice, okay. Okay, I don't think they win, right? Okay, well, they're trading, which is a good sign. They trade, they lose. I think we got him. I think we got him. Easy. Easy game, easy life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't believe we just beat a death rattle demon hunter. Oh man, oh man. Here, we'll show them what we have in hand here. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> Maybe we could keep a bloom here. 
I guess Bloom in the opening hand. We'll keep it. We can get some good explosive turns. But yeah, Karina is, uh, Karina is insane. Green is insane. How's the Totem Shaman been going? That was actually our first game, Bro Pass. So you came just in time. Do I ever bloom out the the eyesore? So okay, so turn two, I'm gonna go uh, cage match. Turn three, I can go eyesore, coin, bloom, totemic reflection. Okay, there we go. That's the play. That's the play. Maybe I don't even need to though, you know, because that is going all in in case they do have like In case they have like devolving missiles or something I'm having a blast noodle granted I fought two legend bosses this morning and didn't get in. Oh man, it's so close so close That didn't mean I played a boring deck. I had a ton of fun. Hey, that's that's honestly all that counts as long as you're having fun doing it now that's that's why we play this game after all. But you'll get there. You'll get there. All right, we're going in. We are going in. OK, they never have devolving missiles, right? <laughs> they never have devolving. Ah, dang it. <laughs> all right, hit one of them. Hit one of them. Hit one of them. Yes, yes, yes. No, <laughs> no. Son of a god, man! Gosh! You just can't have fun in Hearthstone these days, right? <sighs> I tell ya. I tell ya what. I tell ya what. Here, we can do something like this, though. Uh, we have three minute next turn, so we can at least go, like, whack -and Maybe we even go Pri uh, Primal Dungeoneer? It only draws us one spell, so it's guaranteed to get us a Totemic Reflection. Are you kidding me? Bro! That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Yo, Raflamingo! Yo, how's it going, dude? Who's pouring a cocktail? Feel free to proceed. All right, all right, all right. Now, now we can... And besides, Trick Totem never backfires on me. Trick Totem never backfires. Aw. Wait. Do, wait, do I do I keep these? Fill your hand with random mage spells at the end of your turn, discard them. Wait. Wait. No way. Do I, no. It's for serious? That is. Wait, what? We gonna keep them? This also tests for a mere entity. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh! Oh, wait! Wait, what? Oh! Dang it, we don't get to keep him! So it's at the next turn then. Oh, that's disappointing! <laughs> oh man! Oh, we should play like Mask of Cthulhu there or something. Oh, dang it! Well, I guess the more you know, <laughs> the more you know, like I, I could just like Totemic Reflection, but it's probably Counterspell. Oh, uh, maybe not. Rigged fair game. <laughs> Dang it. I thought we were on to something there. <laughs> Yeah, Rob Flamingo, right, that broom had rush! So OP, OP. <laughs> meta officially broken. Well, we broke the meta for one turn, at least. Well, we'll, we'll count it. <laughs> oh, Trick Totem. 
You never seem to disappoint. Okay. I mean, this is looking a little scary, especially if they top deck another uh, fireball. Is there any way that we can... Um, so we got to test for what? Mirror Entity or something? I just want a tour guide. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, four mana, nine, ten. Let's go. <laughs> um, do I ignore this? So oh, it's what? Mirror uh, or Ice Barrier, right? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we are only at six. Let's see here. So it's four. We just go face. You know, it's a rigged fair game, right? This actually sets up like a two turn lethal potentially. Nice innervate trick totem. <laughs> All right, just don't top deck uh, Pexus Blast or Fireball. I think it is ring fair game though, because we have hit face every single turn. And like a couple turns ago, we did actually uh, punch our weapon into their minions. We tested the Oasis ally. You didn't hit him last round, did we not? All right, we got him. We got him. Whoo. <laughs> I can't believe we got there. Oh man, what a crazy game. Let's do this. <clears throat> I'm also tour guide though. But I think I hold on to the hero power. Maybe I can hear a power if I got like a Grand Totem Eyesore or like a Drone Eye Totem Carver or something. Okay, interesting. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate drawing the card that you would have drawn anyways. Raid Leader, okay. Yeah, that needs to die. That needs to die. Huh? I might even want to go like Circus Amalgam because if that sticks. Oh, if we can land a Totemic Reflection on like a Circus Amalgam. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 42 more wins to get 1,000 Druid wins. Yo! Early congrats, e Claus. That's exciting. That's exciting. <gasps> oh, we can actually do it now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, are you guys ready for a Wombo Combo? <laughs> the dream! The dream! Do I even want to hear a power? Does that even matter anymore? Yeah, let's go for it, sure. Why not? Maybe go like a Strength Totem. There we go. <laughs> Turn four, 15, 16 worth of stats here. <laughs> we just have a two turn kill on them. Your turn. <laughs> How do you deal with this? How do you even deal with this? Okay, that's one way. That's one way. <laughs> you don't. You don't deal with it. <laughs> oh, the eyesore? Oh, oh, this hand is actually good. This is a good hand. I'll keep whacking all so I can kill a Kolkar pack runner. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. Oh, we got eyesore in our hand. And that's Poggies. Yeah, what's up, the Warshack? How you doing, dude? It's good to see ya. Very Poggies indeed. No? Do they not? Do they not have a way of dealing with this? No Wound Prey, no Arcane Shot.
No, they don't? Okay. I wonder if they're going to double bump this or if they're just going to go face. Yeah, they're going to double bump it for sure. Yeah, this is fine because now they'll probably like trade back into here and then I can play the uh, Totem Eyesore next turn and then give it some attack and like a Circus Amalgam. Yeah, I like that play. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Eyesore. It's your time to shine, buddy. I wonder if I bump this. Yeah, we do probably just prematurely bump it. It could suck if they have like a uh, adorable infestation here. Eyesore should buff everything, not just totems. Uh, I don't know. That'd be pretty OP, though. <laughs> Found the communist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so I need two spells. Can they find two spells? Oh, OK, or that. Yeah, OK, that works. This they got from tracking. Um, it's probably just Circus Amalgam, because next turn I can go Serpent Shrine and do a uh, Wriggling Horror. Hopefully they don't have a Serpent Bloom. They don't have any cards in hand, so I'm not really too worried about them casting more spells with the Kolkar. Yeah. Yep, so here comes the Rhino. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that is fine. No, 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 wait, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't want to like trade this, do I? I don't even care. Sure, throw your Rhino into one of these dudes. <laughs> like, we do have more damage, right? We have the Wriggling Horror Serpent Shrine. We have more draw for refill. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, you'll love to see it. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's right up there as one of the best feelings. Next to, like, beating Priest, your opponent left. <laughs> What happens in two days, uh, Priest gets two nerfs. And it's probably going to be Apotheosis and Renew. Warrior sucks. I like Warrior. Warrior doesn't randomly generate a bunch of stuff, so you know what to play around. You know? If it's Control Warrior, you know to play around two Blade Storms, two Brawls, uh, Shield Slams, you know, stuff like that. If it's Rush Warrior, you know what they're going to play on turns two, three, four, five. So I actually really enjoy playing against a Warrior. Because you know what to expect, which means that you can play uh, more strategically when you know what to expect. You know, you can play a little bit differently if you know your opponent's going to be playing Rokara on turn three or something, you know? Um, I might want to just go Grand Totem here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like, we have a totem on the board, so sure, we just like get value automatically. Nice, this dude even buffed up the eyesore. Here we go, here we go. If uh, a couple of these totems live, we can play the Draenei Totem Carver. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Strongman? Yeah, or Anchorman. Well, at least we got a little bit of val uh, value on it. It's not much, but, you know, it's a little bit of value. Yeah, let's just do that play here. Get a clear, get a, uh, you know, buff, get to push some damage. Because um, next turn I want to go go Goliath. And if they kill the Goliath, then that just makes my Totem Carver that much better. So let's go for that play. And yo, what's up, Big Dave? I never say much in your chat, but even the most tilting situations, you're still smiling. Love it, pal. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that that you enjoy it. I mean, I, I generally do enjoy the game. 
I just have to remember all the good times, even through the bad times, you know? So. So I guess I do. I guess I do punch. Mm, funky is good. I try. I try. You know, I feel like there's enough. Uh, there's enough people already. That just do like nonstop complaining about the game. Kind of need people like me and like Regis and, you know, stuff like that to balance it out. <laughs> Ooh, another Goliath. Oh, OK, sure. Don't mind if I do. We're kind of in a win win situation here, like either they kill the Goliath and we just make a huge totem carver. Or they don't, we get to push a ton of damage face. Okay. We don't have a good way of killing this uh, one health, dude. Oh, wait. Yeah, we do. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> got him. <laughs> oh, we got him good. I think I want to draw my other Wackinel before I top deck it. Okay, something like this. Actually, it may have been a little bit of an order of lull. Uh, I guess it was about, I was about the same odds, right? Because I didn't want to risk attacking and then buffing up the one one that I was going to trade anyways. So I had the same risk of buffing up the one one as I did the totem carver. Got him. Oh, 10, 11 totem carver though. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Oh man, you can do some nutty stuff with Totem Shaman. 